getting ready to give this canoe a, a, a recoat of epoxy resin. And as I said, uh, oh, several videos back, it's oxidized. And you can see the oxidation peeling off and a little bit of fiberglass. The oxidation's that gray part. We need to get the gray off, and the best way to do it, sand. Use a uh, 80 grit sandpaper. You can hand sand it. You can orbital sand it. Whatever you feel like doing. The only thing you don't want to do is what I'm doing right now. I'm running around with no long sleeve shirt on and it's hot and sweaty out. That means I'm sweating and any kind of little f uh, fiberglass particles that are in the air stick to you. It's going to get all itchy. It makes it more fun that way. But nonetheless, you sand away, sand, 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 and then we'll recoat. We'll be back for that part in a little bit. Because this is a source river canoe, it has a thin layer of fiberglass on the outside. The reason they put the fiberglass on the outside is so that it'll drive over rocks. You can't sand Kevlar, but you can sand fiberglass. Thin layer of fiberglass on the outside protects and holds down all the Kevlar fibers so you don't expose them to damage. And so, having the fiberglass layer on the outside, we can use one of these with 80 grit sandpaper and unless you sit in the same spot for five minutes going, oh, I wonder what's going on with that, it's starting to smoke, you know, if you just keep it moving, you got no problems. You got a long way to go. Now if you take other Kevlar canoes that are skin coat canoes where they've got nothing but just Kevlar, they're butterscotch colored, any other brand, I'd say the vast majority of every other brand, um, no fiberglass. And when you sand like this, you're going to fuzz up 10,000 fibers. So you got to be careful how you do it because you only want to be in the resin because there's no fiberglass on those. Source rivers are different, so just know that. When you got a big job, lots of sanding, you can use one of these. And this is how you use it. 80 grit sandpaper, no big deal. Turn it on, and I'm not going to talk through it because it's kind of loud, but...